What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today I got a fellow YouTuber, King Sean on everything. So uh, we're going to do a review for you guys today, but uh, instead of doing one product review, we're going to do a four product review. Uh, so today we're going to start off with the Fossils uh, Solo Pack. So the Fossils Solo Pack is basically uh, a cup, a bowl, and a dish unit. Um, and having it flat like that makes it so you don't have to carry something bulky in your bag or so you know it makes it a little bit easier to use um, we're going to talk about mountain house foods uh, basically uh, these foods are, are freeze dried food uh, made to last like 25 to 30 years so um, we're going to test these out uh, let you guys know how it tastes we got a, a meal beef stroganoff and we also have a dessert um, apple crisp with cinnamon spiced apples with granola and graham crackers I don't know we we'll see uh, how that tastes like. Yeah. All right. um, in order to uh, cook the food, we're not even really cook the food. We just gotta um, boil the water, right? So in order to do that, we're using the Magic Chef uh, portable um, cooking unit. Um, this is actually uh, electrical, so uh, we'll work with that in a minute. And then the way we're gonna power the unit is by using the Go Zero Yeti 150. Um, and then we actually charge that up using the Go Zero Boulder 30. Uh, solar panel. So uh, now that we have that all charged up, we're going to go ahead and um, start boiling the water and then so we can start getting into the review. So uh, with this Magic Chef, like I said, it's compact. That's the, that's the reason I bought it. I wanted something that was self-contained. So um, I got this thing I found it on YouTube. All right. Uh, the awesome thing about this unit is it's uh, it's, uh, has, it's, it's, dual, it's for dual uh, places like basically Europe and America. So it actually comes with a European plug. Right here, you guys can see. So what I did was um, on eBay, I purchased one of these um, adapters. And right. Plug it into my Gold Zero. Push the button when you want it to go on. Now, now the cool thing about the Go Zero is, um, yes, it is solar powered, but you can also uh, charge it up by plugging it into any um, 120 outlet. Um, also, it has the uh, cigarette lighter unit for it. Um, it has two USB plugs, and there's another plug. I don't even know what that is. I'm so sorry. But also, you got the, the 110 that you can plug into. It's not grounded, obviously, but um, it does have a little open spot on the bottom. If you want to have a, a ground plug, it has a way to go. So, um, so right now the unit is on, but it's not. It's not hot. Uh, it's just a uh, one button activation for the unit. So I'm gonna just go ahead and place that on hot. Put the pot here. Now, according to the directions, we're gonna need two cups of water. So, measuring cup here. All right. So we're probably gonna lose some um, when we boil it. So. All right, so we're looking at the beef stroganoff um, with noodles. It's 2.5 servings. Um, it seems like it's, it's kind of high in sodium. It's uh, 910 milligrams, 38 percent of your daily uh, value for sodium. So um, you guys want, might want to be conscious of that. Um, and then also we have the apple crisp, and um, we're going to need one cup of water for that. So a total of three cups of water. Um, how much? How much you got in there so far? Put a little extra in there because it's going to boil off from warming up, so we just make it a whole three and a half cups right. and measure as needed. All right. So listen, while the water is boiling, I'm, I want to paint a scenario. So uh, we live in South Carolina. Um, yeah. Hurricanes are a big thing here. Big and, um, thing. A lot of times where there's forced evacuations. So uh, in this scenario, let's just say we had a hurricane, we had a forced evacuation. Uh, you come back to your home, your home is not damaged at all. However, the power is down. And that's a big thing here. Uh, we have a lot of trees in South Carolina. Um, so that's definitely a problem. So now you don't have power for two weeks. Two, two weeks. I don't know, what's the longest probably never had power. Because the bars are closed, um, all the food lines are closed, the gas all stations the grocery are closed, stores, everything stores are closed. closed. So um, what are you gonna do in an event like that? So um, obviously you have to drive out pretty far to try to get some food. Um, there wouldn't be a way to cook it unless you Obviously, doing um, 
charcoal or, or caveman or, style, just throw some limbs and sticks and twigs on a bomb by and light it up. Right, right. So um, I think this is a good alternative um, to having something um, in, in a situation like that. Um, this is supposed to last, like they said, 25 or 30 years. It's a long time. Um, and then from my understanding, they did have, they had some uh, chefs, some really, really good chefs prepare this for these dry foods. So, yeah, see. Um, also, this Goal Zero. So the Goal Zero that we're using, um, this is before Goal Zero stopped using the lithium batteries. They have a lot of units now that are a lot bigger, that actually have a lot of power, such as the 3,000 watt um, lithium um, generator that it has. Uh, it, it, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's really light. Uh, as Sean said, uh, had de it demonstrated today when he lifted it up, it is pretty heavy. Um, yeah, it is. So it's not nothing that you would want to carry in a bag. Um, it would definitely wear you out um, as, as having a power source. Of it. If it was something I was carrying in the bag, I'd probably make me the, the solar panel to kind of fold out. I don't know if you guys saw those, but I'd probably try off something like that. But as a stationary unit, it ain't too bad. Right. But carrying, I wouldn't recommend it. Right, right, right. Now with the uh, the Goal Zero, the um, 3000 watt actually comes with a stand that has wheels. Um, so you want guys don't have to really worry about lugging it around. Um, obviously, to get in the car, you have to lift it up to get it there, but um, it's pretty easy. So I figure in a camping setting or any type of setting, it should be easy just to pull it along anywhere you want to go. Um, so that's definitely why I want to get that. Also, I would like to get that to see if I can charge up my electric bike, but that's a whole nother show. You know what another review for another whole time. Another review for another time. Yeah. So, um, we're going to have a lot of time waiting on this bad boy. Uh, hey, so listen, guys, while we're waiting um, on the water, the boy, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know some of the nutrition facts on it. Uh, like I said, 260 calories. Um, calories from fat, 100. Uh, total fats, 11 grams, 17%. Saturated fat, it's 3.5 grams, 18%. Um, trans fat, 0 grams, cholesterol is 30 milligrams, 10% your daily intake. Uh, sodium is 910 milligrams, it's high, it's 38% of your total calorie intake, it's pretty high, pretty high. Um, total carbs, 29 grams, 10%, um, dietary fiber is 1 gram, at 4%, sugars is 3 grams, protein is 11 grams, wow, that's 22% of uh, your daily calorie intake. Pretty good. Since vitamin A has four percent, calcium six percent, vitamin C two percent, iron four percent. So I mean, hey, doesn't sound too bad. Other than the um, sodium, and then um, the cinnamon spice apples with granola and graham crackers. Um, it's 180 calories per serving. Um, it's a total of 540 calories uh, for the day. Um, it's total fats four grams six percent. Saturated fats 1.5 grams eight percent. Trans fat is zero. Cholesterol is zero. Cholesterol OMG, zero percent. Sodium, 75 milligrams. That's three percent daily calorie intake. Total carbohydrates, 35 grams, 12 percent. High in carbs. Pretty damn awesome, man. To be able to have electricity, heat and cook your food any way you want to in the world, in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I just think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, I do. I think that's pretty awesome. This one to shake it up. Hold on, stir it. Yeah. Then just stir it. All 
All right, so the stroganoff now set long enough. We're going to open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, look at that steam rising up out of there. It smell, it smell good, too. Looks pretty good. YouTube, so we're back. Um, ready to try it out. See how it tastes. Smells. Really smells good, good actually. Smells really smells good. Real good. All so, right, man. Cheers. Cheers. First bite. It ain't bad. Pretty good. You definitely yeah. survive off it. I had to rate it on a scale of one to ten. I give it a seven. I mean, well, nothing ain't really gonna compare to fresh seasoned ingredients and having it cooked right then and there in front of your face. But right. as far as on the survival level, uh, if it's stroking off night, I'll show up to the table to eat. Right. Put it like that. So I give it a seven. Well, I think of uh, a cold night. I'm hungry and I'm starving. And I got this right here. You'd be a happy camper. We don't have regard. Give about an eight. Not bad. Alright, so now we're going to get to the dessert. Uh, I smell good too. Smells good, man. Uh huh. Mm. Share the video.